Alrighty, welcome to the latest edition of Mazda 6, Mazda 5 engine failure. In this case, this is a Mazda 5 2 litre diesel, the, the older engine. I um, haven't done one of these in a while. Um, and what was the common co problem with those, that engine um, was the oil pump drive gear used to wear and cause a very high pitched squealing whining noise when the engine was cold. Um, and once the gear heated up and the engine got up to normal operating temperature, the, the, the expansion of, of metal um, gave the gear that little bit of clearance and the, and the, the whining stopped. That's all very well, but what was the reason for it? Why did it start doing this in the first place? Well, the gear on the end of the oil pump, on the end of the crankshaft, is what drives the oil pump. So it's a gear-driven pump, and here is the other oil, other oil pump, original oil pump. And if we look closely at the gear on the shaft, we'll see a little track running down the center of the gear and if we can identify the same track on the oil pump gear it's difficult to see on the oil pump gear but it is there so that's the cause of the noise and when those gears heat up there's a little bit of what's called backlash in, each, in between each gear which um, allows for a little bit of clearance so why has this done that? What, what has been the cause? Well, that gear is um, what we call shrunk onto the shaft. So it's heated up and it's pressed on and it's allowed to cool naturally. Um, and it stays in one place basically. So the problem is um, if we get any kind of wear in the crankshaft um, bearings, main bearings, then that gear, the crankshaft's not going to run true. It's not going to run straight. And that's exactly what's happened to this engine. So if we take a look at the actual main bearing shelves, these are the main bearings, not the big ends. The big ends are the ones on the conrods. They're actually okay. Um, but the main bearings, these five jar, um, recesses for the shelves to sit in the crankshaft will sit down in there, and then we'll have what's called bearing caps will sit on top of that. We'll get to that in a second. If you look at the wear, uh, the wear on these shells, and um, there's quite a lot of white metal has worn off that shell, and some on that one, and on this one there's a little bit, a, a lot of scoring. Um, and you may think, well, that's not very much, but actually it is. It's enough for the crankshaft not to run true, and if the crankshaft doesn't run true. It's run slightly off then it'll start wearing that oil pump gear um, and eventually if the, if the crankshaft is not running true and straight then the shaft can actually seize um, so it can do really two things, it can seize or it can just start running off true and start wearing away the main bearing shells and the actual engine block on the bearing caps and that is exactly what it had done because if we place the, that centre cap on there these caps should be a tight fit. You shouldn't be able to drop them in like that because if we get in closer, this is actually left right movement I'm doing doing here. Hear that? So that that basically shouldn't be like that. Each cap should be a nice tight snug fit. So basically this block is scrap. This engine block is no good. So that leaves us with a problem. We need to get an engine block um, suitable for this engine. Um, the crankshaft will need reground with uh, bearings to suit. Um, the oil pump gear will the oil pump gear um, will need what we call modified. Um, my own personal oil pump modification. It's not just a matter of plate replacing the oil pump. You're replacing, think about what you're doing. You're putting an oil, a new oil pump onto a crankshaft gear, which already has a worn track down the middle. Plus, 
the crankshaft is continually wearing so you're going to wear away the, the new oil pump that will not work um, we have to replace that gear and the gear on the oil pump with a matching set as in cut from the same material on the same day by the same man or woman in, in a good mood it has to be a matching set or else it will not work and obviously the crankshaft has to be running 100% true which is an engineering shop job you can't do that type of job in your garden shed so anyway that's where we are with this engine we need an engine block, we need a crankshaft regrind, we need shells to suit um, obviously when the engine's down this far we'll replace pits and rings, gases, oils, etc, etc and all that so uh, thanks for watching um, leave any comments, questions, it's all appreciated, always like a good chat on YouTube um, share it on social media, give me all the likes and all that sort of stuff, it's always appreciated again thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video